next on Airwolf. How did you come to work on Airwolf? So I came to work on Airwolf because of a meeting I had with Dawn a few years earlier uh, for the part of Maggie Poole on Magnum P.I. I met Dawn on what was actually my wedding day on the soap. And so this is 1982. And I got a call from my agent, a, a, a beeper, a page, because uh, we didn't have cell phones or, or anything like that. And I was on set and I was getting into my wedding gown and, and rehearsing uh, for my big day on the soap. And I, I got a call from her and she says, you have to go over to Universal. Don Belisario wants to meet you. And I said, I I, I can't go to Universal. I'm in the middle of shooting. It's my wedding day. I'm, I'm getting married in two hours. So she said, no, 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 no. You have to go now. There's a role that they're thinking about and he, he needs to meet you. So I say, okay, I, the only time I can go is at lunch. I'll run at lunch and I'll, I'll go and, and I'll, I'll meet Don. So I run over there and I have a drive on so I can get on and off quickly. A drive on means that I get to drive my car from the front gate to what was his bungalow. So they had a bungalow set of offices, a suite of offices there. So I go in and there's a secretary there and she says very sweetly, Don got pulled away. He's, he's, on another call, he's, he, he'll be with you in just a second. We know you have to get back to the set. So I'm sitting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and it's 20 minutes go by. And I'm thinking, I, I have to go. And so she buzzes him or whatever and, and he comes through the door and says, Oh, Jeannie, Jeannie, come on in, come on in. It's so nice to meet you. And we get into his office and he's got this huge executive office with a great big desk, the biggest desk I had ever seen. I'm sure it's gotten bigger over the years, but I remember thinking it was the biggest desk I'd ever seen with a window behind him. And then in front of the desk is a chair, not a very big chair, just kind of an insignificant kind of chair. And he, he ushers me to the chair and I sit down and I'm, I'm quite, well, not quite tall, but five, eight. And so when I sit, the chair is so low, my knees come up uh, like under my chin. So I'm sitting there, you know, l looking across this big desk at this uh, great big gregarious guy. And he's talking and he's telling me, oh, you know, he's got so much to do uh, with, with Magnum. Um, and he's, uh, you know, he, he writes the scripts and he directs a lot of the scripts and he rewrites a lot of the scripts. And it's just, it's busy, busy, busy all day, all day, all night. So I'm, I'm listening to all this and I'm thinking, I am going to be late. I'm going to be late on set. First time ever. He's keeping me. He's not talking to me. He's not asking anything about me. So he can see, I guess, that he's uh, losing my, my interest. And he says, uh, we always need a pretty girl. And so when next time we need a pretty girl, uh, we're going to call you. We're going to use you. And I don't know what came over me because this is not like me at all. But I, I stood up and put my hands on his, on his desk and I leaned over and I said, don't, don't call me when you need a pretty girl. Call me when you need an actress. And I turned on my heel and I walked back to the door. And before I got to the door, he had gotten out of his chair and around his desk and put his hand on the door and said, Jeannie, 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 no, 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 please. Uh, uh, you, uh, you misunderstood. I I've seen your tapes. We want to use you. We want to hire you. I just wanted to meet you. And you're such a pretty girl. And I, I just meant it as a compliment. <laughs> and so uh, by this time, I'm, I'm almost in tears because I'm still thinking I'm going to be late for this very important day on my other, on my show. This Days of Our Lives was my show. I said, well, thank you. Thank you very much. And I, I do. I hope, I hope we get to work together. And out I dashed and into my car and over to the set. So that's where Caitlin came from. It probably also fed into Maggie, um, L Lieutenant Commander Maggie Poole on Magnum PI, but I know that that, that moment of uh, standing up to him uh, was the reason that I got Maggie and that he wrote, he then wrote the Caitlin character for me. Airwolf will continue. <laughs>